IEDs have been the leading cause of casualties in all recent military operations in which Australian soldiers have been involved. We realised with some of our technologies, we could provide solutions that would save their lives. With over 30 years of expertise in electronic warfare and a deep understanding of signal processing and systems engineering, Darren Smart and his team have designed, developed and produced four unique and highly advanced systems to protect personnel, vehicles and equipment from radioactivated IEDs. They have been commercialised with an estimated benefit of $64 million. These devices provide a protective haze around the user of these systems. Uh, you can think of it something like providing a, a protective force field against the IED signals that are coming in. The one thing that I know about Darren is his commitment. His commitment to um, providing life-saving equipment, developing life-saving equipment, and just making sure that, you know, soldiers and um, security forces can be as safe as they possibly can in, in such a dangerous place. His team's ADF personnel protection device and the Huckleberry system improve manoeuvrability and replace previous measures where a large device was carried by one soldier to protect the group within a defined area. Australia became the first coalition partner to protect their soldiers in this way. When we produced the initial prototypes for the Huckleberry system, we had to get those uh, about 20 initial prototypes out to theatre within three weeks. People like Darren are essential to us uh, in, the, in defence as a whole because they give us an agility and a speed of reaction that is quite astonishing at times. Furthermore, both easy to use Red Wing systems, Green Gum, a compact personal unit, and Grey Gum, a vehicle mounted device, provide similar freedom of movement. But what set Smart's efforts apart was his rapid design, testing and prototype development programs which enabled the systems to be rapidly manufactured. The fast turnaround of the Huckleberry system effectively protected personnel at least a year earlier than if a new system had been purchased and saved the ADF $5 million with $1 to $2 million more saved every year. Australian industry was very thankful to be involved in the Red Wing product because they were able to show what they could do in volume manufacturing. Red Wing is particularly good, I think, for Australian industry um, in that it demonstrated a organisation that could turn something around in next to no time. The pressure was both internal and external. There was a lot of hard work and commitment involved. Um, but we could see the reward at the end of it. So, you know, my team was fantastic in working those long hours to get that capability out in such a short time. The use of similar processes placed 100,000 devices in the hands of Middle East security forces within months. Manufactured in Australia, Red Wing contracts in excess of $13 million have been awarded to key Australian businesses for each of the past three years. The program is now worth around $58 million well, it's been really uh, rewarding. We've had written examples of first-hand accounts where the use of the devices that we've provided to them uh, has saved their lives. It's really nice to see that that germ of an idea has really blossomed. And Darren and his crew, in developing the prototype, OK, we set the requirement, but they had to do the hard work on the science side to deliver something that was problem this big to a box that's that big that goes on your chest. However, the success of Smart's work should not be measured solely in terms of engineering or financial benefits. Since 2012, no ADF personnel have died from radioactivated IEDs, with many Afghan lives also saved. His devices are in service, saving lives, allowing Australia to demonstrate a tangible contribution to the international mission to create a stable and secure environment in global conflict zones. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome this year's Clooney's Ross Knowledge Commercialisation Award winner, Mr Darren Smart.